pull more, pull more, pull more, pull more, pull more, pull, pull, pull. There you go. Now start to think about your right wing. Pull. No, don't release that. This is all pitch. Two, one thousand. Three, one thousand. Four, one thousand. Five, one thousand. Six, one thousand. Seven, one thousand. See how much pitch I've got. The horizon's yeah. right here for me. There. All right, and I'm still coming around, still coming around. Hello, aviators. In this video, we're talking about the commercial maneuver Shondells. A Shondell is a maximum performance 180 degree climbing turn. Uh, you may have seen my last video on Lazy 8s. Um, if you haven't, come to the channel and check it out. Lazy 8s are all about leveraging the secondary effects of the controls. Well, today we're talking about chandelles, which are all about managing those effects. So a chandelle is performed in the following way. First, you pick a reference point at the 90 degree position. Let's imagine I'm going to the left. I pick something very specific. I look down the rivet line. I roll into a 30 degree bank and I apply full power and right rudder. All right, full power, and then I slowly pitch up, keeping the bank angle constant until I arrive at my maximum pitch up right as the nose hits that 90 degree reference. Then for the second half of the maneuver, I hold the pitch where it is at the maximum pitch and slowly change the bank until now I'm pointed in the opposite direction with my right wing on the same reference point. All right, so think about what we learned in the Lazy 8 video, right? Anytime you have a banking airplane that's slowing down, you're gonna experience an overbanking tendency. So the Shondell is all about managing these types of things. And as the airplane's slowing down, you'll find yourself increasing opposite aileron to maintain the 30 degree bank. You'll also find yourself increasing your pressure on the right rudder. Remember that an airplane that's slowing down and pitched up is gonna have more and more left turning tendencies. And by the time this maneuver is finished and the right wing is off on your 90 degree reference point, you're essentially standing on the rudder. Also, you have to arrive at maximum pitch up at the 90 point, which I'll tell you takes about seven seconds. So you're counting to, you know, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. By the time you get to seven, your, your pitch is at maximum. You're at your 90 degree reference point, but now you're still slowing down as you change the bank angle to come around and put your right wing on that point. So you'll have to increase your uh, back pressure on the control yoke to maintain the same pitch attitude. Wow, that's a lot, right? It sounds easy, like everything's gonna be constant, but in reality, you're managing all those same secondary effects that we saw in the Lazy 8 video. All right, so I wish I had a wing cam in this, but remember, I do these on live lessons, so a huge thanks to Serge for letting me publish his flight training to the internet. We do have a forward cam, and we've got a camera on us, so you can kind of see where we're looking. The first thing you're gonna see me do is demonstrate the Shondell, and then you're gonna see Serge have a go at it. All right, let's check it out. All right, so the first thing is to just start really stable. We're at about, okay. we're at 4,500 feet here. All right, so we're gonna just let things stabilize for a minute. I'm looking at my wings. I'm gonna go into about 2,200 RPM. Okay. About 90 knots. All right, we're trimmed, letting the airspeed uh, settle in. Flying pretty much level. And I'll check it. Oh, we're still descending a little bit, so I'll pitch up a hair. I'll check the speed. Uh, a little fast. That's because we're descending. Like level. Okay, so there it is. That's about stable. All right. The first half, I got my reference. I look out at the left wing. I'm at the bald spot on the top of the mountain out there. Okay, so I go 30 degrees of bank, full power. Say one 1,000. This is all pitch. Two 1,000. Three 1,000. Four 1,000. Five 1,000. Six 1,000. 7, 1,000. See how much pitch I've got? The horizon's yeah. right here for me. I have to hold the horizon yeah, there. Yep, I hear the horn. All right. And I'm still coming around. Still coming around. Okay, that's the end of the Shondell. And there's recovery. All right, so you you're at the horn, kind of the second half of it. Yeah, that's just because I'm not used to this plane. But even so, 
As long as I'm not pulling any more, I'm not going to stall. So what I meant to say about the stall horn is that normally in a Shondell it comes on at the very end of the maneuver. Um, in this case it was on throughout the second half, but um, you should know that in all my years of doing this I've never accidentally stalled the airplane in a Shondell. In fact, I don't, I've never seen anybody do that. So, you know, it's just a little release is all it takes to avoid the stall. So if you really hear that horn screaming and you feel like you're going to stall, just release a little bit. But really, to keep that maximum pitch up, you have to continually increase your back pressure. So notice that that's what Surge has to do. Here's what it looks like when you don't do that. And this is, this is what you don't want to see. You see that visual reference point just crawling up and to the right as the nose descends through this turn? That's showing you that you're not holding the max pitch up. You might not be sure what the max pitch up is, so take a moment, pitch the airplane all the way up to the stall horn with power full, and memorize that sight picture. We're still 60 knots. Uh, Let's no. just see, hold the airplane here. Yeah. Show me how much more you could pull till you hear a stall horn and look out the window. When you hear the horn, just release the okay. pressure. Look at all that. Right, that's a lot of extra pitch. Don't look inside, look out right. at your Lindbergh reference. There's nothing inside. Pull, pull, pull. There it is, good, and then relax it. Yep. All right. All right, aviators, that's all for this video. A big thanks to Surge for being a part of it. Um, also a huge thanks to the sponsors. Without their support, this wouldn't be possible. And also to the patrons. Uh, patrons get special rewards. I just posted a common errors on Lazy 8's video. Um, so if you saw the last video and you want to check that out, uh, please consider coming by Patreon and becoming a patron without that support. Again, these videos would just not, it wouldn't be possible to release these free videos. So a uh, huge thanks to the patrons. If you're looking to find me on Instagram, I'm at LearnTFP. Also, uh, please come by and visit me on the website, LearnTheFinerPoints.com. I've got podcasts and videos just coming week over week. Um, and also a big thanks to Michael Bazaar for making the awesome music that I use in these videos. Uh, makes the editing just that much more fun. So, all right, until next time, be safe and fly your best. And I'm still coming around, still coming around. Okay, that's the end of the Shondell.